In this tutorial, we'll create a fun photo collage effect in Adobe Photoshop. So grab your favorite photo and let's dig in. The resources used in this tutorial are listed in the tutorial resources, so make sure to check them out. So first, here in Adobe Photoshop, either open up your photo or stir it off in a new document. In my example here, I've started a document that I've pasted my photo into. See, it's right here on a layer of its own. Now let's use the quick selection tool to select this photograph. It's as simple as selecting the quick selection tool right here in your tools, and then clicking and dragging to select the photograph. Next, let's go to Select, Modify, Smooth. Set the sample radius to 5 pixels, then select OK. Next, go to Select again, Modify, Contract, and set this value here to 2 pixels. Let's go to Select one more time, Modify, Feather, and we're going to set the feather radius to 2 pixels. Next, right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac and select Layer via Copy. This will make a new duplicate layer with our selection. Alternatively, you can go Control-J on PC or Command-J on Mac to do the same thing with a shortcut. Here's a couple of ways we can add in the background. You could go to File, Place, for example, which would place your background image into your file. However, you can also open the image, copy it, and then paste it into your document. Your choice. The important thing is to make sure you have this image below our newly created cutout photograph. It should look like my layers right here. Now that we've got our document all set up, let's create the photo collage effect. First, let's change our foreground color to red. We can do that here in our tools. This red's hex code is FF0000. Now let's use our rectangle tool to draw some rectangular shapes. There's a few ways we could do this. Click once to reveal this dialog box. Here we can give specific measurements for our rectangle. For example, I'll make mine 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Alternatively, you can click and drag with the rectangle tool active to draw a rectangular shape. If you'd like to keep a perfect square ratio, simply hold down shift while you're dragging. So let's use the move tool to move our rectangles around. These will be where our digital photos are, so position them however you'd like. With the Move tool active, we can also change the angle of these rectangles. Let's try it out. It's easy. So go ahead and adjust the angle of your rectangles any way you like. You could use the Rectangle tool to draw more rectangles in any proportion or ratio you prefer, or we can simply duplicate our layers. Right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac, then select Duplicate Layer here in your Layers panel to do so. Let's create eight different rectangles here. Our goal is to cover the subject with squares that will act as individual photos. Each part makes up a different part of our original photograph. I'm going to do this by duplicating my layers. And then, I'll just adjust them. Again, here's a look at my process. I'm just duplicating these layers and then adjusting them with the Move tool. Remember, you don't necessarily have to do it this way specifically. You could draw in new rectangles if you prefer, and if you'd prefer them not to be identical in size, you can do that too. A few more duplicates and adjustments and my subject will be completely covered. There, I have eight different rectangles and my subject is covered up. Now we're going to take our photograph and place it on top of our rectangles. See? Take a look at my layers. I have it here on top of my eight rectangles. Let's select that photograph layer, right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac, and then select Create Clipping Mask. Check out what happens. Now the photo is only visible within that one rectangle. We're going to repeat this process for each of our rectangles. So first, let's duplicate the layer containing our photo. We can right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac, and then select Duplicate Layer. The shortcut for this is Control or Command-J. Now let's just drag the layer above another one of our rectangles. Follow the same process to create a clipping mask again. Right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac, and select Clipping Mask. Let's do it again. Copy the photo layer, move the photo layer above one of our rectangles, and make it a clipping mask. We're going to repeat this for each rectangle. 
copy the photo layer, move the photo layer above one of our rectangles, and then make it a clipping mask. Do this for each rectangle until everyone has a photo applied as a clipping mask. This is what it should look like once you've done so. Now let's experiment with layer styles. Double click on the layer or click down here in your layers panel. Check out the options here on the left. We want to select stroke. Make sure there's a check mark active here. This means that this style is turned on. Set the size to 40 pixels. The position should be inside. Set the blend mode to normal. The opacity should be set to 100%. The fill type should be color and the color itself should be white. Then, go back to the left-hand side of this window and select Drop Shadow. Again, we want a check mark on this one, meaning that it's active. Our blend mode should be set to Multiply. The color should be black. Set the opacity to 60%. The angle should be 30%, and make sure Use Global Light is on. The distance should be 0 pixels. The spread should be 0 pixels. The size should be 100 pixels. I would recommend leaving Preview toggled on over here on the right-hand side. These values are all suggestions. Experiment with them and choose the settings that you prefer or the settings that work best for your project. With Preview toggled on, you can experiment with these values and check out how they impact your work before you click OK. That said, let's click OK and move forward. Now we need to apply this layer style to all of our other rectangles. Luckily, we can do so really easily. Right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac and choose Copy Layer Style. Then, we can select another rectangle layer, right-click on PC or Control-click on Mac, and then choose Paste Layer Style. It's that easy! Let's go ahead and do that for our other rectangle layers, too. Make sure all eight have this layer style applied. Now, once we've done so, we can make some finishing touches. Notice that I can select any of my rectangles and move them around if I need to, without changing the photo. I can also rearrange the order of my rectangles if I'd like to. If you'd like to do so, select both the rectangle layer and the photo clipping mask. To select more than one layer, make sure to hold down the Shift key, then just drag these layers to a new position. We can also group this content into a folder if we'd like to. I'm going to select all of our rectangles and clipping masks by going to my first layer, holding Shift, and then selecting my very top layer. Notice now that they're all selected. Note, for individual selections, make sure to hold down Control or Command instead. With all of my layers selected, I'll click on the folder icon down here in my Layers panel. Now all of my work is in one convenient folder. This means with my folder selected, I can move and align my work any way I wish, collectively. And that's it! We've made a fun photo collage effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for following along with me. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching, and happy designing!